Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asinki Sidra and it's Fastco TV, the official YouTube channel for Acida House Commodities. And remember, Acida House Commodities is a mixed trading entity. Now we have taken our time over the past five to ten years to study the, the mixed markets of Ghana and the mixed trading trends of Ghana. Now, should you have any interest in mixed trading, do you want any inquiry, we are the best people to speak with, pick up our numbers and talk to us. Now, in today's video, I hope I believe you you click on this. A video because you want to know how you can start a great business in 2024 even if you don't have any cash with you even if you don't have the capital to start the financial capital to start it right and this is not not just any clickbait this is actually the, the reality that i'm going to show you i'm going to show you the real steps you can take venture into a great business even if you don't have the necessary capital, financial capital for that matter. All right. And let me say one, one thing. Let me clear one thing. That by, mean, by capital, what I mean is that the necessary capital, the necessary financial capital. All right. You know that agribusiness, you know, sometimes it's capital intensive. But there are a lot of youth out there. Plus, probably finished school. They just finished school. You don't have the financial capital to start this, but you have the strong will to do it. How can you do it? How can you start this business? You are the right channel. I am going in a few minutes. I'm going to show you how you can do it. Now, the first thing you want, you want to do if you find yourself in this situation, right, is to identify your interests. All right. Now, you have to know that agribusiness is broad. Okay. We have the production, we have the supply, we have a lot in the supply chain of agribusiness. All right, so identify your interest here means you have to know what you want, where you want to venture. You cannot do all. If you can do all, bravo. But in my experience, you have to identify a path and take it. Uh, as always, I use maze trading as an example because that is my field that is where that is where we have mastered all right so let's say you want to be a maze trader or you want to be a maze supplier all right now you don't have the capital the necessary financial capital you say you're going to buy your own stocks and then supply them to you know uh, the bikes all right now identify that you want to be a maze trader that is the what the first thing to do now after identifying it, the next thing you should do is to read and master your interest. Don't just go into it being or looking like a naive person. Take time to study maze trading. Now we have set we have centered our argument on maze trading, right? Let's say that is what you want to go into. Now, make sure you know the ins and outs of it. Get the information. Use your internet wisely. Get the information. Learn it. Master it on, on your fingertips. All right? Because you're going to move. You're going to be interacting with business people. You're going to interact. You're going to be interacting with buyers, made buyers. Now, you have to be able to, you know, um, post as someone who knows it very well but not just posing as someone who knows it very well but someone who actually knows the ins and outs of maze trading all right now that you have identified your interest and you have mastered it make sure the third thing you should do is to register your business right sometimes and in this sector a lot of this, a, 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 a lot of um people in this sector have not registered their businesses all right now when you don't register your business your argument become as informal as anything okay you can be speaking with buyers who are ready uh, who, who actually want to trade with you but because you don't register your business right but because you have not registered your business you know it, it, it becomes very difficult to deal with to deal with you now, come to think of it, most of these buyers, the big buyers are big companies. They are established, well-established companies. Now, how are you going to portray yourself as somebody who has not registered, who is so informal 
and expect them to trade with you? No, you have to be able to register your business. Even if it is a sole proprietorship that you want to register, I don't think it costs up to 100, 100 CDs to register a sole proprietor. Register it, make sure you have your company, um, your business certificates, you have your business um, bank accounts, right? These things, some of these most important things are very important. Putting yourself in a business line, identifying yourself as a business person. All right. Now that you have registered your registered your business, the next thing or the fourth thing you should you should do is to identify the market players or the industry players. Okay. Now, who are the industry players? Now that you have decided to do meat screening, the industry players will be the producers of the meat and then the consumers of the maize. All right, now who are the producers of the maize? We are talking about farmers, maize farmers. We are talking about uh, people who have, who put value, who add value to maize, to the raw maize, like Ashko, for instance. We add value to the maize. We buy it raw from the farmers, and then we add value by doing what? By cleaning it, by drying it to specific specifications, and then Packaging it very well. Okay, so companies like Ashco becomes you know the companies that add value to to meat. So you have to know some of these people and then know the consumers who are the consumers of meat. You are talking about the market people, that is one, and then two, you are talking about poultry farmers, you are also talking about animal feed producers, now you are also talking about beer production companies because. A lot of beer production companies in Ghana use maize. You should be yes, but that is true because maize is used in alcohol production and alcoholic beverage production. All right. Now that you have identified them, now you know this side and you know this side. All right. But you don't have the capital. That is the basis of this video. You don't have the financial capital to go and buy and then come and sell, which is the meaning of trading right buying and then selling basically now what do you do you have to the next thing you should do is to align yourself with the producers in this case you should align yourself to maybe some farmers and people who are farmers or who plants maize or people like Ashko who have and who, who have established themselves as a maize production company even not as farmers but as production in, sen in the sense of buying raw and adding value okay so when you you align yourself with the producers you register yourself with them as an agent or as their agent okay you register yourself with them as their agent what do you do after you have done this registration what it means is that you what it means is that you're going to walk in the offices of the consumers of the of the product consumers of maize you're going to walk into the offices of these um, poultry farmers these um, poultry feed or animal feed production companies or these maize exporters or these maize uh, alcoholic beverage production companies and you're going to introduce yourself as an agent of for example as we allow it this is business we allow it all right Provided that we have done our background checks on you and know that, okay, you are trustworthy, or we should give you a chance. All right. So if, when this is um, done, you're, you're going to be able to, like I said earlier, you're going to be able to walk into these offices of um, the, 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 the consumers or the consuming companies and then introduce yourself as an agent or, or as coming from Ash. All right. Now, during your alignment with Ash, you are going to go into a contract. Okay. Or during your alignment with any maize production company, any maize production individual or entity, you are going to go into an agreement that if you are able to go and look for markets, if you are able to go and look for markets, this is your cut. It is allowed in business. You're going to you're going to say you're going to have that agreement that if you should bring this kind of market and this quantity of produce is supplied, this is your cut. 
It is allowed in business. In every business, it is allowed. All right. So when you go and look for the market, looking for the market is what is going to the mass group, the consumer consumers or the consuming companies like the petrol farmers and or all the rest to look for the market to say that okay, I have this uh, produce or I work with an entity that have this produce. All right, because you are formal, you register your business, you are formal. These things become very easy. If or they become easier than somebody who now, if you are able to do this, what that means is that you have become a main supplier, even though you don't have any main stocks. You understand? So you have become a main supplier by not having any stocks. So this is what I mean by going into agribusiness without any capital. All right. So you are having maize. You, are, you, are, you have become a maize supplier without any maize stocks because you have not produced any stocks. All right. So this is one of the simplest way of entering agribusiness in 2024 and beyond without necessarily having the capital, the financial capital to buy your stocks, to, pro to produce your stocks and to supply. All right. So, um, so this is 2024. Please, if you don't have the capital, you should have the charisma. If you don't have the capital, you should have the charisma. You cannot lose hope. If you don't have capital, make sure you have charisma. Because it is by charisma that you are going to be able to approach these industry players and introduce yourself as maybe an agent to the producers and supplier you know, to the buyers. All right. So if you don't have the capital, have the charisma. All right. So this is what um, I have to share with you today. And I believe it has been, it is a very, very important message. Don't just listen to it. I always want to hear these good stories. I don't always want to hear, you know, people making the moves, you know, after listening to the videos and making the moves. All right. So thank you very much for listening to my voice this um, afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you're watching from. And until we meet in the next one, remember, this is 2024, the year of agribusiness. If you have, you have wanted to do it, for some time don't wait keep watching our videos be inspired get your first move and you and say the good stories that are in agribusiness because you need it very soon i will i will make a video talking about why people despise agribusiness why people don't why especially the youth why don't they go into or have the zeal to go into agribusiness. One of the reasons is that those who are, who are benefiting from agribusiness, they don't say the good stories. They don't say the good stories. So that video will come, we will delve into it properly. But today is an opportunity for you to go into agribusiness, even if you don't have that much of a financial capital. Once again, my name is Yawa Simpi and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. And remember, Aceda House Commodities is a maize trading entity. If you want maize, you are a maize, animal feed producer, you are a poultry farmer, you are an alcoholic beverage producer in Ghana, we have the stocks. You need the stocks, we have the stocks. We are located in Techimai, the heart of agribusiness or the heart of maize trading in Ghana. Pick up our numbers, link up with, that, with us, let's make these deals happen. Until we meet in the next one, bye bye for now.